guys, this is going to be another TVT on the Master's Ladder on North America. I'm going to be spawning in the top right on Neo Planet S as Red Terran Peacekeeper. In the bottom left position we have Monster Kill um, from this clan called SP4A, Spa maybe? And he's, a, he's spawning as a Blue Terran, so it looks like it's going to be a TVT. And I've had kind of like two builds for TVT these days. The one that I'm not doing here, but I've I've done videos of what, like in the past. Um, for Marine Hellion Medivac into the opponent's main. While you expand. Because um, of the reactor time, you build up enough resources to put down the command center. But it only delays push by like 30 seconds. Like, if you did it off one base, it would hit 30 seconds earlier. But that's like... Not very much, so if you do it, and if they expand it, like Widow Mines in bad positions or something, you can own it pretty good. But um, this time around, I'm going for gas first, I'm going to build that barracks on 13. This, what this allows me to do is get the gas early enough that once my barracks finishes, I can put down the factory straight away. Because I'm not going to put any add ons on the barracks, I'm just going to produce four marines out of it. And once this barracks finish, I'll throw down a factory, and I'll start pumping two widow mines. And I want to get a starport with a medevac to do this. Uh, I'm just SCVing up right now, looking at my opponent's base. He went for a 13. Well, maybe he also went for a 12 gas. Yeah, this guy went for a 12 gas. So I mean, I went for 11. He went for 12. So he could be going for some reapers, to be honest. Reapers are pretty good, um, especially against you know build like this where the marines are delayed. And uh, yeah, I do want to grab the orbital command at 15 food. Boom, factory first, then orbital command, and then I actually lift this up because I'm confusing it with a different build. But what I need to do is just land it and start building marines. A little bit of minerals here. This should allow me to build two marines at once, as well as finish this wall off in case some sort of weird SCV pull occurs. Looks like he's going for a reactor on barracks and a factory with no marines. He's being pretty damn greedy. His second guess is really early as well. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll rally this one back here. And then with this factory, I start a widow mine as well as starting the construction. Of a starboard. Better mind, should start anytime now. Come on, widow mine. Widow mine. You need the widow mine, bro. Okay, there we go. Building a marine. My gas is on the way. I started at the same time as my starboard. Uh, slightly delayed, maybe. I'm putting down a supply depot to see the drops that he might throw at me. Um, Uh, one more marine, and after four marines, that's all I need to do this aggression, so I'm going to put a tech lab on this, and so once the medevac finishes, you can get a banshee from the tech lab. Here we go. I'm pretty high on supply again, so I'm a bit worried, but I'm not too worried, at the same time, I'm just waiting for this medevac as well as a bit of my barracks is just building that add-on. I totally missed that. It's a big mistake on my part. I should really be starting a sec- Okay, I have started this flight over here. So just spot even more drops. Yeah, here we go. This is gonna be sick. Opposite side of the map, here is a medevac. Two reapers, two hellions. More hellions as well as a medevac. Some weird drop play, I suppose. And uh, this reaper gets some nice hits off onto my widow mine, uh, lowering it down to you know, some considerable health is lost there. And I feel like I can battle this out against the Hellions and the Reapers. But at the same time, I don't want to risk it. I just want to do some economic damage right now to pull myself ahead. Cause some uh, disruption up on his side. And that followed out with a cloaked Banshee pressure. Which should be pretty sick. And there's a tech lab on the on the, the factory starting as well as a reactor on the barracks. Because I'm going to want to produce that, those marines. It's extra DPS, but at the same time, they're just kind of fodder units. So the tanks gain in position. 
and uh, has some pretty sick banshee um, control when they're cloaked. And here we go. I'm dropping the stuff now. Uh, he thinks it's just marines right now, but now little mines reveal themselves kind of. You can pull the clump back, which puts them all on low health. And I'm like, okay, cool. At this point, I'm like, okay, I've done quite a lot of damage. I should just go home, but I misclick a bit and I lose most of my marines. But looking at the income tab, I'm so far ahead right now. Um, it's really good for me. I'm starting my expansion now. His hasn't started yet. He's getting a raven, which is really smart because he's seen the banshee follow up, I think. Oh yeah, and here is where I struggle quite a bit because there's a lot of units coming across the map. I'm trying to pick off as much as possible with this banshee. I'm getting two SCV kills before that does hit me. But at the same time, I have nothing at the front. I'm just going to pull this wall up. I have cloak, so even if he has some anti-air, I can dodge it with this cloak. But the raven is also on the way. So I need to worry about that. And uh, pulling some SCVs to repair. Try not to let the enemies get in, but the reaper just hop on in. I'm pulling my SCVs because there's a Hellion drop in my mineral line as well. Feeling another banshee. I have two banshees now. This will clean this up pretty, pretty handily, but I mean, the DPS just isn't enough. This, wow. Yeah, it's 3 to 10 workers. Wow, he's killed 28 of my workers. This is really not good for me, but these banshees are racking up a lot of kills um, at this point. I'm like, okay, I gotta finish this, and I'm really gonna start my double SCV production. because uh, I really need to catch up and I have enough gas for now. So I'm going to put these back onto the minerals pretty soon. These two Widow Mines are going to be quite helpful. I'm putting this stack in a really conservative position. And my two Banshees go on into this space to see what I can do. But Viking pops out, and with the Raven and the Viking combination, these Cloak Banshees are going to have you pushed away. But the thing is, he's only just started his, uh, his command center. I actually got a pretty nice kill on the Widow Mine. Um, yeah, that would have was pretty worth it. So I do choose to morph it into Orbital Command, drop the meal, then transfer, because that meal is going to get you a lot more minerals, a lot faster. At this point, you need all the minerals you can get as fast as you can get it. So a bunch of Reapers are moving over here to the third, and then into my main, perhaps. Um, my siege tank should be able to be repositioned in a decent position. I'm putting this here in case of Reapers, as well as it tries to skirt over here with siege tanks or something. Why didn't it hit? Oh my god, if that would have hit, that would have been sick. And I've climbed back up to 8, but now uh, he's getting even more kills, so I'm running away. I'm setting my banshees. I did put two marines here. Trying to sandwich this, and with this widow mine over here, when he tries to exit, it should hit him. Okay, then what the fuck. I'm down to 8 workers again, he's up to 18. He has a lot of gas though, I don't know, he should be building some siege tanks I guess, it would be sick for defense. Yeah, these banshees are getting quite cost effective. These widow mines, um, they have a lot of potential and really nice defensive potential. My tank can come over here again, in case he tries to do some sort of push up again with reapers or if he tries to siege up. Too close, then uh, they'll get obliterated. And I'm, now I'm really having to choose like what kind of units I'm gonna build because uh, I just don't have the income to really keep SCV production as well as full uh, production capabilities. So I'm thinking to like, get a Viking because I saw he had a Viking and a and a Raven. And I really want to get that Raven before anything, so my bench is gonna start wreaking havoc on the ground units and then. I want to use my tanks to kill most of the ground units so that my marines and stuff can get in there and start really dishing out some damage. This tank comes here, but... Ooh, nice seeker missile. I totally missed that, actually, when I was playing the game. Wow. And the SCV count is actually uh, balanced out. I have actually now caught up in the SCV count because I had my end landed for way longer than him. And with that mule, that income was boosted together with double, the double um, SCV production I could pump out really gave me a good 
good uh, head start over my opponent. I, I do add two more barracks because I do want to move into like a marine tank composition. Maybe some area that's for fun. I see that banshee going that way, so I'm a bit confused. So I do move in here. Um, Widow mines actually have lower attack priority when they're burrowing like this. So if your units are attacking his, um, they won't attack the widow mine, they'll attack your other units. So you do get in here and get some kills. Um, but this Viking does push me away. Wow, and the. Ooh, one more shot from a marine. Nothing dies. Oh god. But I'm feeling pretty good. I'm making SCV still. Back at home, so I'm still ahead. He's making some widow mines. I should probably do some add ons soon. As well as maybe double engineering by securing these gases. Yeah, I'm way ahead more for this right now. So we'll see what kind of... I'm trying to do some tricky air battles. If I can take out his... Okay, so now yeah, I can just take out his uh, Raven with my Viking as long as I might probably drop my Marines onto his tank. My plan. Still SCV, but the macro hasn't slipped, while his has oh, quite a bit actually. Uh, I really need to get these gases at my natural though. 31 workers have been killed by him, and 18 have been killed by me, so I've just produced a lot more workers than him overall. So my macro is kind of ahead of his. Um, I do put, because I was only putting 2 2 in each, just because I didn't have enough SCVs before to really mine that gas, <laughs> but now I do. And uh, back at home, he's kind of struggling. He's adding three more barracks, but I don't think he has SCV count to really sustain that production. And I'm feeling pretty good, because I can get stim now. This is a nice number of marines with medivacs. One, the second one coming out as well. And one siege tank, a second one should be coming out pretty soon. A lot more marines are being produced. And uh, yeah, I'm making some more turns for some extra uh, thorough drop defense if he was going for some widow mine drops or something. I do really want to hold that off as efficiently as possible. So one tank and one widow mine. Widow mines are pretty damn awesome in these little skirmishes if you can micro them. Uh, so two tech lab barracks and three reactor barracks. I really want to get that marine tank, marine tank composition rolling out with medivacs and upgrades as well. Our plus one attack is about the same, but the only problem is I have plus one armor as well coming behind this as well as stim. So I do opt to go for an elevator play here with the Widow Mines kind of leading in front. And uh, I'll load up as many Marines as possible. Yep. And have this tank shell starts shelling from the bottom. And uh, this many Marines is going to be quite annoying for him, um, especially with this tank to back it up. So if he tries to go from the bottom, there are just two Marines to kind of block. And I'm picking up a bunch of add ons actually. Killing this starport is going to be quite devastating, and he tries to use a use, use a seeker missile, but the marine does sacrifice itself quite nobly. Uh, the tanks can get in range of my units, so I'm kind of worried a bit. I probably wanted to pick off that stim, but uh, ooh, and I do land a bunch of units over here, and these tanks wreaking havoc on his units, you know. Um, it's like the tank did take it, did get taken out, but this med the medevac to back it up is all did uh, pretty cost effective, and he didn't finish the stim. Well, my stim is nearly done. I I sniped this uh, raven to get as much. Uh, oh, this would have killing that landing Viking. It's so crucial. Oh god. Oh. That's nice, but I had to do this big clump of bio following this up. I'm at 48 SCVs now. I really need to get a reactor on my starport though, it's really kind of crucial that I get those upgrades rolling. As well as the medevac count uh, getting higher, because I do want to drop and kind of spread him thin, he doesn't have very much base defense, because he's really struggling in the SCV count as well as the production of tanks and stuff, he doesn't feel safe at all.
Oh, and so this bit of mine is ready. And uh, I should probably scan and take it out. But I'm waiting for that tank to come along. Looks like one one's finished for me. One one's finished for him as well. So uh, I did kind of lag behind. Because I did have a pretty good head start on him. And I do start to start base over here, not over here, just because over here is covered by my attack path. Um, so, two medevacs as well as a bunch of bio with one tank, and I decide to push in. It's looking pretty good for me. Um, upgrades are pretty similar, but with this tank shelling down on the units on top of here as well as all over here, I should get a pretty good engagement here. Yes, and a bunch more bio as well as a secondary tank um, coming up behind this. No repair on the bunker, which is quite a big mistake on him. He could have bought a lot more time if he'd actually. Uh, Know. Repaired that bunker, and my tank just wreaking havoc on the units that were on the cliff, and my marines stimming in, sniping a natural. To my two two is on the way. Um, my SV count is getting up there, um, and then he complains. Lucky I didn't pick my main race. Uh, okay, so he's off racing apparently. Um, pretty good job for an off race, to be honest. But uh, I guess my aggression was a bit too much for him to handle. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's I, I've really been liking a lot of like more aggressive play because it really lets you showcase your own micro and stuff and put put your like multitasking to the limit because while you are microing, your macro has to be even better because you have to do that on top of all the extra APM from the micro. You have to make sure you don't miss supply depots or you you add the the proper infrastructure. Okay. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.